So question number nine on genetics problems one is a tricky one. It says in humans, there's a dominant gene for vitiligo, where small unpigmented spots appear on the body. There's also a recessive gene for albinism, which causes the entire body to be unpigmented. Vitiligo cannot be seen in albinos. A man with vitiligo had an albino mother and a normal father. The man has a child by a normal skinned woman who had an albino father. What is the probability of having a normal skinned child? So first thing to do is to figure out what are the genotypes of these individuals. So it says that vitiligo is dominant. So we know uh, that it's dominant and we know that albinism is recessive. Okay, so we can select the letters V, big V to represent vitiligo and little a to represent albinism. So it says that a man with vitiligo had an albino mother and a normal father. So he has vitiligo. He had a normal father, which means that dad must have been carrying a recessive uh, normal gene. Um, he has vitiligo. It's visible, so he obviously does not have albinism. So he must be big B, little v, um, oops, big A, little a, big A for normal, little a for albinism. So big B, little v, big A, little a. That's the, that's the man. And the woman, she has... Uh, an albino father, but she's normal skinned. So she does not have vitiligo, so she's got to be little v, little v. And she has an albino father, but she's normal skinned, so she has big A. And dad had to have given her a little a allele. All right, so the father is big v, little v. Big A, little a. So he's a double heterozygote. Heterozygous for both traits. And mom is <clears throat> little v, little v, big A, little a. So we have to find, this, this is a, a two-trait cross. So it's a dihybrid cross. We need to figure out what possible combinations of alleles um, could fit into each gamete. So for the father, we can combine the big V and the big A and the big V and the little A. So that's big V, big A, big V, little A. And we can also have little V, big A, and little V, little A. So little V, big A, little v, little a. And for the mom, it's a little easier. She only has two little v's, so it can be little v, big A, or little v, little a. So little v, big A, little v, little a. And that happens again. Little v, big A, little v, little a. All right, so those two, that's just the same thing twice. So now to solve this, we have a big V and a little v and two big A's, a big V, a little v, a big A, a little a, a big V, a little v, a big A, big A again, and a big V, little v, big A, little a again. So we get two of the same twice. Um, continuing on here, we have big V, um, little v, big V, little v, and all these. Big V, little v, big V, little v, big A, little a, and little a, little a. Big A, little a, little a, little a, 
Now we get non vitiligo offspring. All little V's. All little V's. Um, uh, normal. Normal. Hybrid. Normal. Normal. Hybrid. Normal. Albino. Normal. Albino. So if we look for, at, first of all, how many are going to be albino? Since if they're albino, we won't be able to see the vitiligo. Um, we can go through and mark all the vitiligo and albino off. We're looking for normal skinned individuals. So here we have an albino. So that's not a normal. Um, albino, not normal. Um, this whole column right here, they're all normal. Here we have vitiligo, 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 uh, with, with these two being albino. And then we have vitiligo, 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 vitiligo. So, out of 16 different possible combinations, my my final number is one out of four. One out of four of the children will be normal. One fourth normal. And the rest will either have vitiligo or albinism. Oh, actually it's four plus two, six out of 16, which is the same as three eighths.